Welcome to the Business Wisdom Podcast, where business strategist Clive Enova shares his inner business wisdom with you. Each episode is packed with his experience to help you grow and develop your own business wisdom. Join Clive as he shares his wisdom with you. Hello and welcome to this episode of the Business Wisdom Podcast. My name is Clive Enova, business strategist, and through delivering easy to understand advice and guidance, I help people discover clarity to more easily engage with more of their ideal clients more often. In this episode, let's talk about listening, how to make the most of our communications when we're having conversations in business, the importance of listening, hearing what's being said and what is not being said, hearing the message, not just the words. Listening is a very important skill in business and is essential to every conversation we have. Good listening skills allow us to hear what is actually being said and open the door for even more communication from the person we are conversing with. Verbal communication involves both speaking and listening. Listening is key to effective working relationships among employees, between management and staff. Listening skills also impact a company's interaction with customers and other businesses. The business benefits from really listening to both staff and customers are untold. They cover everything to do with your business. Nearly all of your business is about communication and communication is conversation. Now, sometimes we have these conversations through email and sometimes we have them through social media. Ideally, of course, we wanna have these conversations in person. In person, we have the opportunity of employing all sorts of other things other than just our voice. If we are conversing through email or through social media, of course, we don't even have the voice. Most of what you say is actually interpreted from the point of view of tone rather than what you actually say. Tone is extremely important. If you can add body language to it, you get to say even more. That is, you're not really saying anything more, but whoever you're having the conversation with is hearing a lot more. What's most important about having a good conversation? First of all, being present, speaking with whoever it is that you're having this conversation so that you're there, you're present, you're not thinking about something that happened yesterday or something that might happen this afternoon or tomorrow, you're present. To help you remain present, maintain eye contact. That helps you remain present, it helps whoever you're conversing with remain present. It also shows whoever you're having this conversation with that you're interested in what they have to say. That brings us back to listening. The most important part about the conversation is listening so that you get to hear what's actually being said. What's the message? It's not just about the words. What's the message? Very often in a conversation, there is much not said, which delivers a a more valuable lesson than what is actually said being able to understand what the message is. So looking at that, think of this as three ways to improve your listening skills. First off, don't prejudge. Why do we manage to prejudge things anyway? Probably because we're not listening. The ears are extremely important because they allow us to hear what's going on. What's more important about them is what's going on between them. If we've already decided on an outcome or a message that is likely to be received or wanted to be received, we're prejudging. We're not allowing whoever we're having the conversation with to express themselves as clearly as they might. Ideally, what you want in a conversation is for the person to express themselves clearly enough for you to understand what's actually going on rather than prejudging. And don't interrupt. While somebody's speaking, If you interrupt, first off, it shows that you're not listening. It also indicates to them that you're not interested in what they have to say. And if you pay attention to a conversation where you have interrupted, you most likely find that although the conversation might have continued, the depth, the strength, the meaning of the conversation never quite got back to where it was before you interrupted. And that's because the person who was interrupted has decided that because you're not interested, they're not going to tell you. So allowing a person to have their say is paramount in the conversation. Many times I've heard people be referred to as a good conversationalist. 
and yet watching, observing, listening to conversations that that particular person has been involved in indicates that they really don't do much talking. They do a lot of listening. So if you want to be a good conversationalist, do lots of listening. Encourage people to tell their story. And a third way to improve your listening skills, listen for ideas and messages, not just words. What's the message this person wants to get across to you? The words themselves might not be right, but the message is what's important. So when you're listening, be present. Be present in meetings. Be present on telephone calls. Just because you're talking to somebody through a telephone doesn't mean that you shouldn't be present with that person. They'll know if you're not paying attention. And if you're not paying attention, they won't want to talk to you. So particularly in business, with every conversation, stay present. Be right there. It's easy to be distracted. So practice not being distracted. If necessary, limit the opportunity for distraction. Set up your desk so that you're not distracted. Make sure that when you're in another person's company, maintain that eye contact. That will help with limiting distractions. And of course, don't interrupt. Pay attention for what customer or the, the person with whom you're having this conversation is actually telling you. What do they want to achieve? At the end of the day, business is about supplying people with what they want. Ideally, you'll be able to listen, hear the message and deliver the result that that particular person is looking for. Now, there's much more we could talk about in relation to the art of listening in business. For more great tips that you can quickly action in your business, grab a copy of my Business Wisdom Card Deck. And you can find that, of course, at cliveinover.com.au. Thanks for joining Clive. Remember to subscribe for more business wisdom. Want to work with Clive? Book a discovery call with him at enovagroup.com.au.